Hi Hollywood Lifers, it's Bonnie. I'm here with Nikki Blonsky, the star of Love, Loss, and What I Wore, an off-Broadway show. I saw it last week. It was fantastic. She was great in it. And she'd only been in the show for just a few days. Just tell us a bit about what the show's about. The show is a fantastic experience. It's um, written by Nora and Delia Efron. It is just wonderfully written. It's about all different stages of women's lives, about clothes that you know, struck memories with them that mean something to them, whether it be a prom dress, a wedding dress, a, you know, anything that really meant something to them and, and or stays about having with them. cowboy shoes and meeting your, your first love because he had cowboy shoes too. And also, I can see you're wearing black, and there's a part of the show where they talk about, <laughs> about black, and all the women on stage go, Black, yes, because we all love wearing black. We do. I love wearing black. I mean, I'm a New Yorker, so, you know, I think I've been wearing black since I'm five. Now, you've also got a new movie. I do. My yes. new movie is called Waiting for Forever. It's with Rachel Bilson, Blythe Danner, and Richard Jenkins. And I play a mom in it. Um, I'm married to the wonderful Nelson Franklin in it, and we have a three-year-old. And so, and being a parent is something you want to do one day. Uh, someday, not not for a long time, but someday. Yeah. We won't be seeing you in our Holly baby section. No, soon. no, 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 no. There won't be baby bumps. And if if you think it's a baby bump, it's it's just because I'm plus size. People get over it. <laughs> well, we all we all get. Uh, we're always talking about our food bumps at Hollywood Life too, because we all get that. You know. Um, so Zac Efron's been in the news, and you starred <laughs> with Zac in Hairspray. And uh, so we wanted to ask you if you've been in touch, if you got a chance to congratulate him after he won. He was just named like best uh, people's choice, yes, people's yes. choice, uh, most promising actor under 25. Well, I could have told everybody that. <laughs> um, Zach's a great guy. He's one of my best friends. I speak to him all really? the time. Yeah, and uh, we love each other to death, and I'm so proud of him. I really am. There's nobody that deserves success more than he does. He is just a, a wonderful human being. Well, that's, you know, we're big fans of him at HollywoodLife.com, so we were really glad he got that award, and we were very jealous because you got to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't a hard day at the office. No. Definitely not. I, uh, he's very talented. Oh, I got as well. Okay, you got it there first. He's Zach is talented at kissing. Me. I didn't say that. I just said he's talented. You can take it whatever way you want. Yes, and of course we did take it that way. <laughs> and then let me just also ask you if you've had a chance to, to congratulate John on the, John Travolta on the birth of the new baby. Baby Ben is here. Yes, I I did. I've spoken to them and. I'm just over the moon. You know, ever since Hairspray, John has treated me like, you know, one of his own, a child of his own. And um, Was he like a mentor to you? Yes. He is somebody who, you know, I I follow everything, you know, they're in their footsteps. And John has led me in such a wonderful path. He has taught me so much. And um, he's, he's truly like the answer to my prayers. He's like my on earth angel. Oh, he's taught nice. me so much about the business, but so much about life as well. And I'll be forever grateful. He really is a, he's a paternal figure in my life. Really? He's, so you've he's been like very much dad. in touch with him. Wow. Absolutely. Like a second dad. That's amazing. You know, is that one of the things that's helped you keep your feet on the ground? Because Hollywood's been tough on a lot of young actors and actresses. Do you have any advice for other uh, young people going into this business, like how to stay focused? You know what? You really just have to remain who you are. I can honestly say I am the exact same person I was six years ago when I got the part of Tracy in Hairspray. You know, you, you can't change. And you have to keep the same things in your life that keep you happy. And those things in my life are my family. And people look at me and go, you're 22 and you still live with your family? And my response is, yeah. I couldn't imagine not being with them. They make me laugh, they're there for me, They whether I'm up, whether I'm down. And it's just, and I've had the same friends and it's just keeping those good people around you and um, just, you know, remaining who you are and staying true to who you are and you know not changing because the business says you should you right know? so many people have told me to lose weight in order to 
you know, keep working in this industry. And I kind of said, okay, and took everything with a grain of salt. And here I am six years later, and I'm still working. So, you know, I'm going to change if I want to change, not because somebody tells me to. Well, that is great advice. I mean, it's great to live by that, and it's great advice for other people. And I bet your parents are incredibly happy that you are still at home. I want my kids to stay at home till they're 22, <laughs> too. Listen, thank you so much for talking to us at Hollywood Life. Thank you. Do you want to say hi to the Hollywood Life people? Hi, Hollywood <laughs> Lifers. Bye, Hollywood Lifers. Thanks so much. It was great to, to see you and to talk with Nikki Blonsky here. Bye. Bye.